Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. A while ago, like a few months ago, I did a video on how you can change your GPS location on your Android devices. And I had a lot of requests for people asking me, hey, can you do that on your iPhone? Well, today I'm gonna show you how you can do that on your iPhone. It's going to allow you to change your GPS location. So if you're say in Paris, France, you can make it look like you're in New York. Or if you are in Boise, Idaho, you can make it look like you're in Miami, Florida. So let's jump into it. I'll show you how it works. And here we go. All right, now to make this work, it's not nearly as fluid as it is with an Android device where everything can be done on the device itself. So to do this on an iPhone, you're going to need a cable. You're gonna need your lightning cable so that you can plug into your computer. So you can use either a Mac or a PC and then you need your phone so that you can plug into the computer. So for this example, I'm gonna use a Mac because I'm a Mac user, but let me go ahead, plug in, and then we'll hop on the computer and I'll show you how this works. All right, so now here on the computer, the first thing that we need to do is go over to this app called iMyPhone Any2, and I'm gonna go ahead and click that to open it up. And we're gonna go ahead and just click get started to get past the disclaimer. And we're gonna wanna make sure that our phone is connected. If it's not connected, um, it's not gonna connect. So it's gonna, now that I have my phone connected, it's gonna say choose your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, choose it. Well, it's already selected because it's the only one that is connected to the, to the computer. So I'm gonna select okay. And we can see there now that it's connected to my computer and it's loading up the maps. So I'm gonna go ahead and go full screen so we can see it a little bit better. And we can see right here, it shows my location as in Melbourne, Australia. I am not in Melbourne, Australia. I can tell you that right now. So, uh, but to change your GPS location is super simple. We just come up here and it just says enter address or GPS coordinates. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just type in something like uh, Los Angeles, uh, California. So, um, so let's see, I'll just type in Los Angeles and we'll see there where it says Los Angeles, California. And yeah, so it's gonna sort of drop me right in the middle of Los Angeles and I can zoom in a bit if I want. Now if I wanna move this to a, uh, to a different part or a very specific section, I can. So let me see, I'm gonna move over here to Elysian Park. And Elysian Park is right next to Dodger Stadium. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that right there. And we can see it's showing Dodger Stadium Academy and something else right there. I can't read the whole thing. Dodger Stadium Academy entrance, there we go. All right. So now what I can do is go ahead and select move and I'm gonna go ahead and hit move again. And there we go. It has now moved my location on my phone to Elysian Park. So what I can do now from my phone, I can go ahead and open this up and open up the app section. And there we go. We can see right there it's showing that I am at Elysian Park and yeah, it's really, really just that simple. Now the nice thing about this is, is that if you are using location-based apps, say like, uh, let's say that you want to use Lowcast. Lowcast is available in Los Angeles and they have different channels. And so if I click on the little uh, skyline button and then go right there, you can see now it has the Los Angeles, uh, the Los Angeles City tab selected because that's where it believes I'm at. And I can now watch TV from the Los Angeles area. And there are other apps like this too. So let's say you want to come over here and go watch, um, say, Local BTV. Local BTV is an app that is uh, location-based and it's set for Southern California. So there we go. We can see it's actually opened up and it will allow me to go ahead and start watching from, uh, from the Los Angeles area if I want. And normally it won't load this up. Normally it'll give me a message saying that, uh, that I'm outside of the, their service or coverage area. But now I can watch because it reads me as being in the Los Angeles area. Now it's very easy to, uh, to switch locations. So I'm just gonna come back here. I'm gonna go back here to my maps and open that back up there. And now on my computer, if I wanna go to someplace else, let's say that I wanna go to, um, let's say I wanna go to Miami, Florida. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Miami. I'm gonna uh, type that in. And let's see, Miami, Florida. And I'll click in Miami, uh, Miami Beach, Florida. So we'll click that there. We can see where it's gonna show at the beach. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this and make it look like I'm just right on the beach there, South Beach. I'm in South Beach chilling right now. So I'll click that. I'm gonna go ahead and select move. And on my, on my phone right there, the maps, we can see it moved me right over to South Beach. It's just that simple. 
And I can do this and put myself anywhere in the world. I can move myself to, uh, to London. So let's say I wanna go to, to London. I'll go ahead and put that right there. And there we go, I am now in London and I can move myself over to say like the, the Horse Guards Palace. I can put myself there and then I can hit move, click that there and on my phone there on the maps, boom, right there, it has moved me to the city of Westminster and uh, the, how do you say it, Traplagar Square and um, yeah, and right where I put myself, right there at the Horse, uh, the horse Guards Parade. So. Um, yeah, it's really, really fantastic. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to take photos or if you wanted to uh, make it seem like you're someplace else that you're not, I don't know, let's say you wanted to act like you're a big time and you're at some fancy hotel in Paris, France or in, in London, England or in Miami on South Beach or something, you can actually change your location, take your photos and your photos will be tagged with that location. So it's very, very easy to do this. And it's actually kind of fun and useful if you're trying to use this to change your actual location so that you can access apps that may be geo-locked. All right, so there we have it, that is it. That is how you can change the GPS location on your iPhone. It is super easy, it's fast, it's just, incredibly useful. You can use it for all kinds of purposes, whether it be for taking photos or fronting online, you know, if you want to floss on, you know, on the internet, let's say you want to post to Instagram and make it seem like you're someplace you're not, you could do that. Or you could use it for something more practical like watching TV from different parts of the country or the world. It's just generally a lot of fun and I think that a lot of people will find it very, very useful. So anyways, uh, the app again is called iMyPhone Any2 and I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to it down in the video description so that you can check it out and download it and try it out if you're interested. And one last thing I wanted to mention before I actually do get out of here is once you have the location changed on your uh, iPhone, the way that you get it back to where you actually are is simply just to restart your iPhone. Once you restart your iPhone, it will go back to your default location, which is wherever you currently are. So yeah, anyways, again, I'm gonna leave a link to the app down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere and see what other products and services I reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace. <laughs>